Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. This is part two of my replica build of Johnny Five from 80s movie Short Circuits. So I should point out that this is my toy Johnny Five. The build I'm going to do is going to be substantially bigger. Um, if you want one of these, I will tell you where you can get one shortly. So last time I showed you this Facebook group called I Want to Customize My Johnny Five Toy Robot. And that's actually where I got my Johnny Five Toy Robot. Um, there's someone in this group selling the kits, and at one point they were selling pre-assembled ones. Um, the group is dedicated to modifying the toy version. You can see here, here's some pictures of various modifications. Someone's putting motors into the tracks, um, various other bits and pieces. Um, this is quite a useful group because in the photos section, there are actually some pictures of all of the original Johnny Five used in the movie, all in pieces. And those are in albums called Terry's Trip Day 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, basically a guy called Terry Andrews visited Eric Allard who is the original special effects guy who worked on Johnny Five in the short circuit movie and at the time of the trip he was still in possession of the original Johnny Five so if we look at these um, photos basically uh, Terry has taken to pieces Johnny Five and taken lots and lots of reference pictures there's over 1100 pictures of the original Johnny Five all in pieces um, also in this group in the files section um, amongst other things to do with modifying the toy, there are a number of step files, and these are CAD files for the head. Um, these are also created by Terry Andrews, but he since said that they weren't supposed to be released. Someone released them without his permission. They were a failed prototype, essentially, for his full-sized full build, um, and there are various issues with them, so don't rely on them working. They are, however, quite a good reference, at least for the outside dimensions of Johnny Five's head, and the CAD files are full size. So, um, who's Terry Andrews and what's Input Inc? Um, there was a website, inputinc.com, which is um, currently dormant. However, they have resurrected their Facebook page. So, Terry and Input Inc are working on building a full-size Johnny Five and working out all the plans from scratch, along with um, finding the original parts and replacement parts. Obviously, the uh, short circuit was an 80s movie, so lots of the parts you can't buy any longer. So, have a look at the input-inc.com Facebook page. Um, there's um, various comments on here so there's a discussion somewhere down here about the head files um, and how they weren't supposed to be released and you know they're not accurate and so on that's a picture of uh, Terry himself but also um, you'll find if we scroll down enough um, this link here to mega upload or mega.co.nz um, so it's only a very minor post here which is why I had trouble finding it with no picture that basically says the trip pictures and videos are being re-uploaded so as well as all of the 1100 pictures in a zip file um, which is this zip file here you'll find all of these video disk files and these are really really a good reference so it's uh, basically I think it's around 20 hours of video of Terry Andrews going all over Johnny Five with a ruler and reading out the dimensions of every piece and bearing in mind he's stripped Johnny Five down so it's all of the internals as well so I'm not going to show you any preview of these videos because it's not my content but um, the content is here and it's free to download it's quite a, a large download but the videos are extremely good quality reference um, if you want to build a, a full size Johnny Five or even a scaled Johnny Five so I've downloaded all the step files and imported them into Autodesk 123D Design, which is free software and helpfully reads step files. These are all the pieces we have which have been uploaded. It is incomplete, so there are lots of pieces missing. You can see various panels which um, we just don't have CAD files for, and those all need to be made from scratch, which um, isn't too hard now we've got this part. Um, as I said before, these files weren't created by me. Um, I won't be um, sharing them or re-uploading them or anything like that you'll have to get them from the Facebook group and also bear in mind that I said they're not movie accurate and they were never supposed to be released so if you're going to use these for anything um, it's kind of at your own risk um, obviously it looks a lot like Johnny Five's head which is quite good at least from the outside dimension point of view so uh, my build is in fact going to be half scale and the reason for that is that when you build something half as high and half as wide and, and half as deep it's actually eight times less volume um, and that there's two things about that one is that obviously power to weight ratio is much better because you need motors that are eight times less powerful and the same for batteries and power handling 
Um, obviously making a half scale build means there's much less space inside for things like the head animatronics so it's probably going to be limited features. Um, Johnny 5 the full size thing is huge you know basically it's a tank it doesn't fit through normal domestic doorways so building a full size one is a very ambitious project I've got quite a lot of other projects on at the moment so I'm going for half scale. Um, I'm also 3D printing the parts which the CAD files were never designed for the intention was they were going to be machined out of aluminium. So um, this is the complete assembly of all the parts, or at least what we have. This is one part, um, but having scaled it to half the size, obviously all the pieces are half as thin, which also makes it really hard to 3D print. So I've basically spent quite a long time modifying this for 3D printing by um, thickening up lots of the sections. Um, these panels I've sort of closed up as well, in the original CAD file there's holes where there are going to be panels fitted on but I've closed all of those up and I've also <coughs> put these nice chamfers on so we don't need support material to hold the holes up um, so this thing is about 15 centimeters or 6 inches across which is roughly half the size of the full size Johnny 5 head so I'm going to print that out on my Lulzbot A0101 and we'll see how it goes So I've actually printed all the parts that we have CAD files for. All of these were printed with a half mil nozzle on a 0.3 mil layer height in ABS. The reason I've printed them in ABS is so I can acetone vapour bath smooth them. Have a look at my Mr Fusion lid project to find out more about that. I'm probably not going to do it in this video, but probably in the next one. So um, a lot of the parts have come out really well, so these are really, really good. For instance, the eye tubes. Some of them were much harder to print. Um, some of them I've left support material in to give it some extra strength because the, the walls were still really quite thin. Um, the bottom of this was probably the hardest. It's come out okay in the end. Um, I've had to fix up a couple of splits basically as the layers build up the plastic shrinks which causes uh, delamination. So I've had to patch that up with a bit of acetone and some ABS dissolved in acetone to make a glue basically. Um, but that'll all disappear once I've smoothed it and of course painted it. Some of the panels were still really thin so that one has broken when I've removed the support material. Some of that's still left in there. And particularly these bottom panels were so thin it didn't put, even put enough layers down. Um, obviously the problem is with the model being so thin. But these have panels fitted over them anyway. Um, in fact all of these pieces have panels fitted over. So you know we still have to do some clean up and we still have to do some traditional model making things as if we're building a plastic kit basically. But you know the, the part's fairly strong it's going to be fine. So um, we've got all the pieces to stick together. I'm going to glue them together by um, using acetone or ABS dissolved in acetone to make a glue. And once it's most of the structure is together, I'll probably leave the top panels of the head off so I can still get inside. Then we'll acetone smooth the whole thing in one structure, which will also help bond some of it together. So it should um, smooth out all of the build lines and also um, kind of help bond bond some of those pieces together where they're perhaps not very strong. So these eye tubes insert into here, but that piece overlaps hardly at all, which makes that quite weak. With the whole structure together, it should give it um, sort of more strength. So let's start putting that together. So as I said, the eye tubes insert into here, so we just need to get those the right way around. That goes just like that. So that um, appears to be a perfect fit. I actually made these pieces thicker and um, you can see some some support material still stuck on there but um, making that fit in that slot was quite tricky so I had to modify the parts for that um, and obviously this is all half scale so as I said everything got half as thin as well so all we're going to do is just um, use some ABS juice which is basically acetone with ABS dissolved in it and a small paintbrush and we're just going to use that as a glue just 
brush some of that around each side. And making sure I stick the right one in because once this is put together it will never come apart. It's basically a chemical weld. So we need to be very careful what we're doing. And the acetone evaporates quite quick so that should be stuck together in no time. So this piece just drops in here. Suddenly we're looking a bit more like Johnny Five. So I um, had some issues with printing this big piece. You can still see there's quite a lot of um, support material left in and the parts are a bit raggedy around there. So it, it does fit, but um, there's quite a few gaps to fill. So I've got another container here, which has got, you can probably see that's quite a thick liquid in there, which is just basically more ABS dissolved in acetone, which we can use as a gap filler and a thicker paste to uh, put the pieces together. So see where that's going to fit. Let's lodge some of this on it. And that's going to basically make a, a cement with the intention of being able to squidge that in. You can always go over this afterwards with some thinner acetone and um, spread it out a bit more. So it's like a nice thick pasty glue. And we can literally just fill up the gaps there with some of this and make a nice strong structure, hopefully is the plan. So it looks quite messy, but this is the inside, so. And this was what I was saying about generally making the structure stronger now all the pieces are welded together and I've bodged over all the gaps should end up with something that holds itself together so there we go those are all the pieces assembled it's looking quite a lot like Johnny Five's head um, I've left these top pieces off so I can still get in the head to put uh, animatronics in if I decide to do so so that piece would fit on there. Obviously there's some more features to go. This piece needs some more clean up. It should drop neatly in there. There we go, so. So um, the other thing I need to add is that there are no more CAD files for the rest of the body. So those I'll have to go through the videos and work out the dimensions and then make all of those from scratch. I'm hoping to 3D print as much as possible, um, but for some of the parts that's not going to be possible because they're quite big. So if we have a look back at the toy Johnny Five, some of these panels and things will probably be sheet material. Some of the structure of the body might even be wood. Um, the original panels here were vacuum formed. Perhaps those could be 3D printed and stuck together, but uh, we'll have to see how that goes. So I'm pretty happy with how that's turned out so far. Next time I'll be acetone smoothing and painting it. I fancy doing a slightly different paint scheme. Um, the original Johnny Five was kind of grey. I fancy doing a high sheen silver um, or some other sort of paint that I'll need to experiment with with various primers onto this plastic once it's been smoothed. So check out my Facebook page and subscribe to my channel for future updates. Also don't forget to check out my Patreon campaign for access to some exclusive rewards including a live broadcast with me and help me achieve my goals. That's all for now.